So I'm about to graduate college next month and I'm trying to apply for a tech job during the tech recession. <laughs> work from bed day. I work best not being in my room, but I'm not really feeling too good today, so this is gonna be the vibe. First thing I always go on my Google Calendar to get an overview of everything that I'm doing. I gotta finish trying to file my LLC, do my taxes. I come up with some interview questions because I'm meeting some past mentors that I had to yeah, get their opinion on the whole uh, trying to get a job during this tech recession. You know, I'm in UX design and going to graduate next month. I know I made a few videos last year that really helped grow my channel and I'm super thankful for the growth. You know, even directors of small startups would send my videos to their team and I've had multiple people plagiarize my work, straight up copy it screen for screen, present it in interviews as, as if it was their own and they would get jobs. Although those things have happened, it's so surprising because I still feel a lot of the, I guess, insecurities that I felt not being good enough or talented enough. Never. I always constantly feel like I'm inadequate and I'm not ready to even like apply for a job or I'm not ready yet. I just want to be super real. I want to keep it real on my channel how I so much feel the stress of applying for jobs, especially in the tech recession, despite, I guess, whatever the perceptions other people have of me and how I'm doing. I still equally feel the stress as anybody else. So it's really normal um, and anybody else that you would look up to, the people that I would look up to are probably, you know, would feel the same thing. There's, there's no amount of background or I guess privileges that I've had that would prevent me from still doing, I guess, the, the grunt work. And not to say like, I still believe that I'm making my own luck of creating a YouTube channel and openly show my portfolio process and everything. And sometimes I'd have recruiters reach out to me or, you know, be more familiar with who I am so I don't have to cold email and things as such. But still, despite that extra luck that I would create for myself, I still need to do the grunt work as with everybody else. Anyway, that was like a super long-winded feel thing. Got to see what I want to do with this channel because I know I also haven't been making content in a while so it's a lot of things to figure out of what i want to do post-grad and where i want to see myself we will see what happens we're gonna try our best and we'll we'll keep going hopefully it stays Quick update, it's 11.23. Just got back from Koreatown to celebrate my friend Annie's birthday. And the podcast that I filmed with my friend Christina just went live. Here it is. And I'm listening to it right now. It's the first podcast that I've ever done. It's something I'm glad I'm uh, documenting right now. And I'll also leave the link to this podcast episode in the description box below. Okay, I'll be available. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, I Just had a quick meeting with my manager for my student job and that was a lot shorter than I expected. Um, where are my airports? Now time to get ready for the rest of the day. Entrepreneurship class at 12. And then I have a check-in meeting with one of my former mentors at Google. So it's good to catch up. Um, I haven't talked to them in a while, so it'll be nice to see uh, how they're doing and just to talk to them about post-grad stuff because I have a few questions for them about that. And then I have my final class at 7 to 10 p.m. So i got to get ready for my day. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Bye, Sharon. Bye. I finished class and while I was going out of class, I got an email from a past supervisor and they are passing me on to the first interview phase, which I'm excited about. So something's happening, things are moving along. 
Right now, it seems that uh, big tech is on a total hiring freeze, um, except for very specific essential roles. Um, so just keeping that in mind. If anyone else is in the same boat of NDA stuff and you can't really talk about it, but how can you still show your skills, then you can split up your um, case studies for different purposes. Instead of talking about the specifics or the UI of the project, you can talk about trying to navigate ambiguity, talking about the larger team experience, dynamic, working with um, developers, so more of like larger scale product strategy and vision, and you can save the specific UI things for another case study. I'm feeling pretty good so far and I have uh, a lot more clarity of sort of next steps and how I can go about uh, portfolio presentations. So thought I'd check in with you. Alexa, play Flowers by Miley Cyrus. Alexa, stop music. Um, so yeah, whenever you can give me a call back, uh, I'd love to discuss the details with you. Thank you. And um, hopefully by today, I'll, I'll finally have an LLC. <laughs> And I also need to schedule an interview for the UX thingy. So let's do that too. Anxiety is relieved through action. So that's what I'm telling myself. It's one thing at a time. You don't have to do everything, just the next thing. Hopefully by the time I graduate, something could be secured. But I'm happy that things are moving along. So just looking forward to getting to the next step. Yeah, I mean, I think it's super successful. It's very clean. It's very yes. sophisticated. Like the presentation is very strong. All of those things. And look at the conversation with the foster. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like use that as a marker that it's, it's success. It's really yeah, good stuff. It's not, it's a very good presentation as well. So take on this one. Thank you. Yeah, so thank it's you. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Appreciate it. So I just finished my Parsons final thesis presentation, and I now have an interview at two thirty. So that's an 20 minutes. Um, surprisingly, I am not as nervous as I thought I'd be. You know, of course I'm still nervous, but I'm not as anxious as, I, as I've been. There is a recession going on. However, the way that I'm approaching it is first, going through first degree connections, anybody that you happen to meet on LinkedIn, through past work experiences, even if it's not in UX or in tech, um, but just keeping in touch with them. Maybe it's a past company that, you know, you did um, marketing for, but now they're also trying to hire a UX role and you can have more like an internal hire for UX design. And as for myself, like because of my social media presence and everything, I was grateful to be in touch with people who I haven't directly worked with, but have been able to stay in touch. And um, yeah, I've, I've been you know, just talking to some people about potential opportunities at their company, talking to people at past companies, seeing if they're hiring. So really, I think first degree connections are the most ideal way to go. Um, and if it's not that, then, you know, going through the whole cold emailing, applying, it's still possible to get a job, but it's definitely a lot easier if you do know somebody at that company and have a internal referral and whatnot. I really feel like standing for this interview. It's a phone screen interview, but it's just talking about, yeah, literally your past work experience, um, your resume, and it should really just feel like a conversation. So keeping that in mind, knowing that if you even pass the first resume screening portion where they're sifting out, you know, resumes and portfolio websites and stuff, what I've noticed is remember that if you pass that round, they do want to meet you. They want to see who you are. They want to get just get to know you. And it shouldn't be like a they're trying not to hire you, but they hope that you be the, the right person for, for that position. So keeping that in mind of they do want to hire you and they do want to know who you are um, has helped me relieve a lot of the nerves that I, I usually have during interviews because in the past I'd be like crazy anxious about stuff so 
feeling a lot better about this one. I will follow up with you at post interview. <laughs> the phone screen was very chill. Um, it was a very casual conversation and didn't last more than 30 minutes. And then afterwards, I met up with Hask. And if you don't know who Hask is, he is the founder of Cofolios, which I mentioned a lot in my past videos. Um, so Cofolios is essentially this website compilation of portfolios of other interns who got to work at big tech companies and UX design. And I used his website literally every day when I was trying to get into UX. And using his website has been a major help for me transitioning into UX and also eventually getting into Amazon. So definitely recommend checking out Cofolios too. Then after getting coffee with Hask, I also met up with my other friend, Nydia. She's also a UX designer and we were just having a conversation on the tech recession and things like that too. Uh, whatever happens, it's like you're gonna be happy because you believe in your abilities. It's so hard to believe it when you're in, in that thing because it's like yeah you don't know you don't know what's gonna happen but knowing that i've been through that in the past it comes with the territory that's what i'm reminding myself right now it's not about like what happens to you but how you respond to it how you react to it so today was definitely a long day knowing the emotions of the uncertainty that comes with the territory you don't have a job secure you don't know what's gonna happen you don't know going to get back to you but I feel the exact same things that probably a lot of you are feeling like I also feel uncertain that I'm not good enough that my work's not good enough that I might not be able to get a job and despite feeling those things the best that I could do is just my best reaching out to first connections keep on applying on LinkedIn and knowing that if I don't give up that eventually something will turn up although it doesn't feel that way right now um, yeah, just know that we're in this together. I totally understand the uncertainty and anxiety that comes from it. I'm gonna end the vlog now because I'm gonna eat some food and start editing this vlog, but I hope you enjoy this new style of content that I'm doing. Let me know your thoughts down below of where you're currently at in your job search or if you're also in college trying to get into UX and all these post-grad things. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Uh, take care and I'll keep you updated. Bye.